Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey. I'm here with the next part of the VGC Road to Rank, and we are continuing with Baz Anderson's team. And speaking of which, I actually have him here with me. He can say hi. Oh, hello. I'm here, yes. We've got this wonderful team to uh, hopefully get some uh, Lorantis business going. Yes. We want to try and solve the blade something here. And I want to go for Choice Man Explosion. I haven't done that in so long with Metagross, man. <laughs> We'll see. I mean, Metagross, I lead with it. I never bring it in the back, so it just depends on what we see on Team Preview, I guess. Get a nice, but, beautiful uh, kill. No, that's clear. You go like a, you know, I love how you have like a, a well, pretty much like a full trick room. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, I, I'm known for using sort of fast, offensive, shenanigans sort of things, but I really do like hard trick room stuff as well. Lorantis. And I think this I think this is a game that Lorantis yes. might want to come here. <laughs> yes. Uh, does Rain weaken Solar Blade's power? Yeah, it does. It probably has to just like Solar Beam. So. I, I don't think it does. Not yeah. that I know of. No, I mean, it maybe, maybe does. I've, I've never used it in the rain, so... I mean, it's it would be... it would You have to charge it anyway, so it would definitely have it if Solar yeah, Beam yeah. does. So, all right, what are you thinking, buddy? I'm thinking Mimic you Metagross. I'm thinking we're going to explode on something. And Trick Room? I love it. I think we want Lorantis in the back as well. With Torkoal. And I'm thinking Torkoal, maybe. I mean, Snorlax is good as well. Don't we need Torkoal for the uh, the sun for Lorantis? For Solar Blade? Um, well, we have got Leaf Blade on it as well, and we have got um, Zed Move as well. So Solar Blade isn't. Oh, okay, stuff, fine. But I mean, I'm thinking that because we are um, going to explode with Metagross turn one, they are probably going to. I mean, depends on if they like if they protect on explosions, then okay, we're going to still be in a decent position because we have Lorantis. But yeah. they will have Switch Control and probably be able to get the rain up into the Torkoal. All right, so Snorlax is probably better. Torkoal doesn't hit anything on their team anyway. Probably, yeah. I think, like in the in the last, you know, yesterday, it's like, if we want to try and win, then Snorlax, but if we want to try and be cool, then maybe Torkoal. <laughs> I mean, I use Solar Blade. I'll charge it up if I have to. I don't care. <laughs> We're definitely going to use it once in this. Uh, our opponent is actually uh, higher on rank than us. I think he's 1633. Hokkaido from Japan. Japan, Hokkaido. Okay. I don't know, but... So he should know what he's doing then. Definitely. It's usually Focus Ash Pelipper, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. With Tailwind and everything. Yeah, Alkaline Coco. That's fine. Um, because we are going to go for a Trick Room and we're going to explode. And <laughs> this is like the reason why I've got Choice Band and Metagross on here is it exactly for this. Because if they do try and roar with Arcanine, they're going slower than Metagross. So they're just going to get knocked out by explode. explosion. This only really goes wrong if they've got Gigavolt Havoc on top of Coco, one shot the Metagross, and then they roar the Mimic yeah, out. Yeah. So I mean, we're gonna cross our fingers. Hope that doesn't help. Uh, hey, hey, that doesn't happen, but yeah. We'd adapt if it was best of three, but in best of one, we click explosion. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, top from top of Coco could also be a little bit annoying. It could, but you draw, if that just okay, Pelipper, let me boom. All right, so maybe just a thunder. Maybe. I mean, it's not gonna go through our disguise, is it? So maybe it has got taunt or sky drop. Thunder. thunder. All right, that's fine. That won't kill Metagross unless it specs. I think it might. Oh, yeah. no! <laughs> yeah. No, it's Life but Orb. That, wow. That, that's not too bad because we have got Trick Room up now. And we have the Lorentis Charm option. And we do, but because he has actually dangled his Pelipper in front of us, so we could. Oh, we haven't brought Top Call, have we? So no. yeah, maybe, maybe Lorentis is the way then. Yeah. That's all I'm thinking. Uh, Pelipper doesn't usually run Hurricane, does it? It does. It does? Yeah, it does. Should I double attack into it then? I think we might have to. Yeah, because um, I, I think Coco would go out into Arcanine, right? Because, you know, grass type and whatnot. I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the question I... is... Shadow Call um, or... Yeah, I mean, this is this is where, where I should know the calculation for this, really. I don't think Play Rough and Leaf Blade will lock yeah, it out. Yeah, I think Shadow Claw, Bloom, Bloom Doom will, though. 100%. But, yeah, but at the same time, we kind of want to... Yeah, maybe, maybe keeping Bloom Doom isn't that necessary because we will have a, a free charm. Yeah, next. exactly. And we'll, so we'll, we'll, we'll we plus three. Yeah, I'm a Shadow yeah, Claw yeah. on Bloom Doom. That should that should KO the kill, and uh, that should KO the kill. Uh, that should secure the kill. And assuming Arcanine comes out now. All right, nice, nice, nice. He's gonna give me plus one. So unless he protects, we're yeah. good. So actually, we didn't really need a Z move there, just because he, he has given us the, the plus one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, it, also hitting through protect is still pretty nice. Yeah, because we will be breaking the sash if he does protect. Nice, nice. Okay. So we get rid of Pelipper. And I, uh, assuming it's not bulky, right? Uh, okay, that's definitely bulky Pelipper. But assuming that's it's not bulky nothing. Arcanine. <laughs> he, he, got, yeah. he got up the rain for us, so... We can just charm in frustration, can't we? Um, yeah, we could do. I mean, we'll have to see what he brings out next. Yeah. But, I mean, I think, I think we've got options. We'll just have to see if he puts his Coco back in, or if he brings... 
I mean, what else did he have I mean, aside from what would, Golduck? What would Coco really go? He had uh, Garchomp. I uh, really didn't pay attention to the rest of his team. We'll figure it out right now. <laughs> I just yeah. saw I just saw that we could bring Lorantis, so I was happy. <laughs> uh, Charm doesn't miss, right? Oh, Snorlax. No. No, it can't. All right. Well, that's... I mean, this is one of the reasons why it would have been nice to keep the Bloom Doom, because a plus two Bloom Doom does one shot. No, not yeah. Um, but, I mean, we didn't know. We didn't know. No, he was going to bring the Arcanon in there. Um, we've got our own Snorlax in the back, haven't we? Yeah. Hmm. So. Should I charm Lorantis have... and just Leaf Blade Snorlax then? Because Snorlax can kind of 1v1 the rest of his team? Or should I attack Arcanine? Mm, we are already at plus one, aren't we? So, yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. Maybe yeah, Charm Leaf Blade actually KOs Snorlax. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I think it'll be close. It might do. It'll, it, if, if, if anything... Okay, he extreme speeded, so whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah that's amazing. That's 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 a a return too. We should survive this. No. Oh, well, well, maybe not. <laughs> no. Is that is that a choice banded Snorlax then? I don't know how it killed us, but it did. Well, it's probably choice banded. Um, okay, and Snorlax was slower than our Mimikyu there as well. So, all right, what we could do now then is maybe. We know we do know he's got Tabu Coco in the back. Yeah. We could charm, like if we do think your Snorlax is banded, and Lorantis is not frail, so I'm I'm thinking maybe that is choice banded Snorlax. Maybe snarl, not snarl, uh, charm into the Snorlax and protect, and then we can maybe belly drum the next. Turn. Yeah, I like that play. That's safe. And hopefully Mimikyu will keep its disguise. It's just that if Mimikyu's disguise goes down, um, a Electric Terrain Thunder will probably knock it out. Yeah, I agree. Though we are like a calm nature. All right, so get yeah, out of there. This is a really, really bulky Mimikyu. Yeah. yeah. And it's a Z move. Well, that's probably going into the Arcanine as well then. Or so actually. Or not. Is that um, the electric one? Is that Gigable Havoc? I think so. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's not gonna. He wouldn't be doing that into a disguise, was he? So uh, I'm <laughs> glad we protected Snorlax there. That definitely was a better play. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm still going to do a decent little bit of chip. Yeah, not that much. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, okay, now... So we have one turn of Trick Room left. One yeah. turn of Rain, which is pretty key for Thunder. He, he's he got to switch one of these into his Tapu Koko, hasn't he? Yeah, 100%. So I think he's going to Flare Blitz into Mimikyu and then go Snorlax into Tapu Koko. Like, either either we, we Belgium here, or we predict which one... Is going to go into the Coco double into the Snorlax it. and double into it, yeah. Because if if he does get the, um, yeah, I think we high horsepower and shadow claw into Snorlax. All right, I like that play. I like that play. Because we need to get rid of the Coco. And he has to, he has to flare blitz into mimic you slot. Ah, okay. Oh. Well, he guess he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that one. He doesn't care. <laughs> uh, maybe or maybe we got played. Maybe. Okay. Uh, well, I, I think we're making some good reads. I'm thinking that, like, if anyone, if, if anyone's watching this, yeah, if any, <laughs> I'm sure a few thousand people are watching, <laughs> they, they can probably understand like where um, we're coming from, the place that we're making, yeah. Because, I mean, I suppose now we do get Trick Room up again. Yeah. You no, know, yeah. guaranteed. So, you know, in a way, that was it not worked. a bad turn for us. You know, I'm, I think he is choice banded in two returns, so now we definitely Trick Room. And. We did just eat our berry, didn't we? Yeah, unfortunately. So, I guess we protect. I mean, I, maybe we can't belly drum here. Okay, I want to belly drum so badly, but he doesn't seem to care about Snorlax. He, yeah. Like, he's not going to... He's, he's, he's got to double into the Snorlax, hasn't he? Yeah. Because he's locked into return. Yeah. So he I'm doesn't a, seem to want to switch that. Protect. If, he, if he does switch, um, he did which call. he is now, and <laughs> at least at least we're keeping. Get the trick uh, row, yeah, yeah. Safe, and we can high horsepower as well. Yeah. yeah. Is he gonna bust my disguise finally or not? Nah? Does he does he not care about Mimikyu? He might be going for a wild charge into Snorlax, or maybe into the Mimikyu. Yeah. Oh, just a flare blitz oh, into the Mimikyu. Oh, he was okay. just waiting for rain to finish because they wouldn't have uh, yeah. it wouldn't have broken the skies without it. <laughs> Okay, so at least we get the trick room now. <laughs> We're definitely making this difficult for ourselves, aren't we? I agree. If it is choice ban uh, Snorlax, though, we can definitely play around with Charm. 
So yeah, we can. The, the yeah, I mean, he we... needs to... It's not just isn't really a threat as long as we've still got both of these Pokemon left. Yeah, I agree. So do we do we Shadow Claw into High Horse Power on top of Coco? Or will he protect here? Yeah, that is the question, isn't it? Because if we predict that, then we can charm into the Arcanine. Yeah. And, and you know, go from there. But the rain has stopped, so he doesn't threaten so much with Thunder. Um, although, you know, it's 70 still hit. It's, it's still Focus yeah, Blast, yeah. 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 What do you think? I think... Just because we did protect Snarks, I think we do double into the Coco, yeah. Coco? So, Coco? yeah, Shadow Claw and, and High Force Power yeah. again, I guess, yeah. yeah. I say Shadow Claw, knowing that, like, there is a potential normal type switch in there. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I, I, just because he, it's he, accurate. He, you would definitely switch out Arcanine anyway, I think, that turn. So, let's see. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we could have Belly Jump there. Yeah. So, that, that, that turn, that one is the frustrating turn because yeah, we could have Belly Jump there. And, definitely. Yeah, I mean, we, we could have been alright there. Yeah. We would have gotten so much out of that. Like, I would have been able to protect the next turn. I could have charmed Snorlax and then maybe soloed with... So I think now you protect Snorlax and charm the um, Snorlax. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to go for Thunder. It's going to land. <laughs> well, hopefully not. <laughs> uh, I think actually like he's going to go Coco. I would go Coco here. Yeah, I mean, Coco and Arcanine, excuse me. Yeah. I would do yeah. the same thing that he just did. So is what's it, this Snorlax going to do? Then? Is it actually Choice Ban? Like, I can't believe Lorantis fell. I think it is, yeah. I think it has to be Choice Banded. Like, it's not completely unheard of. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it is. That's that's not so bad. And now we can charm into the Arcanine and Belly Drum now. Think it'll work? Maybe. <laughs> I guess, not like we have another player, right? Otherwise, hopefully crits, yeah. right? I mean, we're at minus one attack now as well. So, I mean, he could. Like, he's, he's, he's kind of He's, he's, he's going to double attack into Snorlax. Like. He, he could protect his Arcanine uh, or switch it again. But I think we definitely Belly Drum if we want any chance here. I feel like we're making the calls, but on the wrong turns. And we're playing conservatively <laughs> on the turn, or defensively on the turns that he is actually attacking. So. Well, let's see. That has yeah, to be that's, choice, that's, that, well, it, it is choice, but so yeah. In best so of, in best of three, that would have been easier to play around. Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, best of three is always always nicer to play with, but it is battle spot. It's best of one. Yeah, so that, that's and, the game. Um, now we, we click X and, uh, and run, I think. <laughs> oh. All right, so we get the first L of the episode. Ideally, we get the win after, and Lorenzo gets to do... I mean, Lorenzo got to Bloom Doom, but that's not what we wanted. I'm yeah. so, so... Dude, if it wasn't choice ban, I'm pretty sure we could have just charm and knocked it out. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just one of those things, isn't it? I mean, there were two turns in this game that were really uh, pivotal. There was yeah. the one where we doubled into the Snorlax when they didn't switch out, yeah. which really made like no sense to me because one, it's charmed. Two, he needs the Coco to threaten um, the Mimikyu to stop the Trick Room coming up in the future. Um, and then, um, what was the other one? There was another turn. The, where uh, he, yeah, when, when we could have belly drummed. The, the, when the Coco protected. When we yeah, uh, we yeah. kind of figured he would. Especially the way he was playing. We should have read it, I think. But... So it's like, it's difficult to read people, really, on on battle spot in best of one when you can't read what their face says and you don't <laughs> actually know them. And... So you, you take that into account when you play people, like what their face Some, is saying. Well, sometimes, yeah. I mean, maybe not so much what their face is like physically saying to you, but like if you know the person that you are playing as well. Because like I've been around VGC for a long time, I kind of know how people play the game too. So um, you, at least you've got some some something to base decisions on, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. Like well, I said, spot, I, 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 feel know, like in, I feel like in best of three, we would have been able to adapt really, really well. Oh, definitely, yeah, because we knew... We, it was we choice ban Snorlax, so like, it yeah, had was, to be choice ban. Like, there's yeah, no way the it would be... Went down. Yeah. But, it's okay. Hopefully we'll get someone uh, even worse than us now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Back to the video. No, no. I just want us to get a solar blade off. It's really, really cool. Uh, I feel like we definitely had... If it was a regular Snorlax, again, I feel like we definitely would have had um, the advantage in that game. Just because of how certain turns went. Obviously, turn one, Thunder actually knocking out Metagross was crazy. Um, oh, I, I expected that. I mean, Thunder, the I think this um, Metagross, I think it survives a Thunderbolt, but not a Thunder. Okay. But... Uh, Hail, oh, with Sand that. Slash. Okay. So I actually yeah. do like Torko a lot in this. Yeah, and unfortunately, I don't really like Lorantis here. I don't either. He has I mean, we 100% we need Snorlax. We do need Torkoal as well. And we definitely need Mimikyu. So Persian, so, Persian Mimikyu, 
or Metagross Mimikyu. Metagross isn't ba isn't good because of uh, Persian. That's what's canceling yeah. it out, right? We don't have Bullet Punch on it either, right? Nope. So Persian Mimikyu to get up Trick Room guaranteed, and then Torkoal Snorlax in the back. Do you see if you think he'll lead with the uh, if the Persian, he might not lead with Persian. The way you think is better than. Well, it's just a case of who <laughs> leads with Persian. I think I think Persian Mimikyu, like you say, is probably the safer way to go. And then definitely Torkoal and Snorlax in the back. Yeah, we need Lax uh, for uh, it beats down Lele, hits Marrow. It pretty much beats his entire team. <laughs> yeah, well, Snorlax, Snorlax is like definitely needed for Muk and uh, Marowak, and yeah. Torkoal is definitely needed for like uh, you know Celesteela and stuff, Ice types like this as well. But I like how your Snorlax is running uh, not recycle at all, but like protect with two attacks. I've seen that a few times. I've seen you know protect one attack recycle. And I've seen uh, no protect Snorlax with uh, facade and whatnot, higher power. So it's interesting to see that we don't have the recycle option. I feel like yeah. in the other game, like if we did have that and no protect, and we just we could have just outbulked our opponent. I feel like we just keep kept clicking the recycle and kept attacking. So Lele so, Persian. Yeah, yeah that's come with Persian. Hmm. He could. I mean, he could foul play and and psychic psychic into the mimic you if he's got a shattered psyche then that's you know, dying that's very bad <laughs> should i just should i just uh parting shot into it i think you're parting shot into lolly and try and trick room yeah yeah i mean other other worst case scenario is if he's got torn torn version as well um i, I, I can't say <laughs> that turn like we gotta figure it out right here <laughs> yeah so like oh it's just a scarf one so at least we are getting well, unless he's got torn we are getting trick room, yeah goodbye so, Here's Don't the, be taunt. The, Don't be taunt. Ah! <laughs> so that's really bad, but Torkoal gets to come in here and just click Eruption for free. Uh, so, yeah, kind of. Um, it's locked into Moonblast, isn't it? It is locked into Moonblast, yeah. You wouldn't go Torkoal here? I, yeah, I would, I would go into Torkoal here, yeah. Definitely, but... <laughs> don't think we can win this one now. You don't think we can win it? You really don't? <laughs> no. I mean, that that's the thing with this team. It's like, if the turn one goes well, then, you know, normally you win the game. If the turn one goes badly, then, you know, it's just, you know, forfeit, get, get in <laughs> another game, basically. I mean, I'm an eruption here anyway and try. Uh, and I think if I predict the right with Mimikyu right here, like, I can play rough into Persian probably, or I can Shadow Claw into Lele, expecting Marowak to want to come out, or play rough into Lele. Uh, either way, I mean, I think eruption is always my play with Torkoal. Yeah, I think you're up, but then do you... I mean, we could switch the Mimikyu out for... Um, and try to reset Trick Room? We but I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's best to get rid of the Persian, because at the moment the Persian is the thing that's stopping us getting Trick Room. Yeah, so, so I'll play we, can't, we can't win this game without Trick Room, so yeah. we need to get rid of the Persian. Definitely. Alright, Lele just Moonblast to uh, break my disguise or to weaken Torkoal? Oh, break my disguise, so this is better for me. Yeah, like, even yeah, so no, no special here. attack drop. Yeah. Nice. Unless, he, <laughs> unless he does part and drop. <laughs> Let's see if he just uh, taught my Torkoal. <laughs> okay, so he does Pine Shot. Okay. And this will still do a good chunk to anything coming in. Even if it's Muck, like player, uh, player off plus this will do a good amount. And I think the important part is the fact that we're going to be able to hit Lele here. Ninetale, okay, great. Okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> that's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it's at this point in the video where Barry wishes he'd given a better team to Joey. <laughs> <laughs> No, so yeah, we should be getting rid of the uh, the nine tiles. Oh, we definitely but, will. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't know it'll be close to the lily as well. You know, the ice. Oh no, it won't. Wow, that did nothing. What? Oh, we're at minus one, aren't we? Of course. Yeah, we yeah, but I mean that's still good enough. Like, if like let's say sand slash comes out right now, I go lax and I just uh, flamethrower sand slash, don't I? But then again, yeah. Torkoal's my way. Torkoal's my offensive presence of actually beating. Oh, it's Marowak. Yeah, so it's a good job we have got uh, Snorlax in the back. Can I flamethrower into Lele and and go Lax? Or is that not the play? Hmm. Well, if he Moonblasts, it's going to be into the Mimikyu. Yeah. I he think could might... double into the Mimikyu. Yeah, yeah, I think. Because he could Shadow Bone into the Mimikyu. That's what I'm thinking, too. Well, Snorlax, yeah. So I'd rather flamethrower and try and get something off on Lele and then go Lax here. Yeah. Because if yeah. I even if I like in general getting rid of Lele plus resetting Mimikyu, I have my I'll have my regular Shadow Claw versus uh, Marowak, which is really good. And Marowak is just I mean, Snorlax is just bulky enough to take a hit anyway. 
I do think he's Shadow Bone here, even if it's Torkoal. Let's see if he, uh, well, we're the only ones to switch out this turn, because we are Iron Ball, so we're the slowest on the field. So they just Moonblast into Torkoal, or? Oh, yeah. Okay. He's a lot. Stop special attack driving me. I care about that. He bone uh, Marines. Bone Marine, wow. Okay. Don't usually see that. I mean, yeah. at least at least we're not erupting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we flamethrower. So this will do a good chunk. This yeah. might actually KO with, even though I get this special attack drop, because we're, we're not in the sun anymore. Ah, uh, that's close. <laughs> okay, so we don't know what his last Pokemon is, do we, at this point? It's Persian. Oh, it is Persian. Ah, right. Well, that's bad then. Because <laughs> we've got, what, Mimikyu in the back? Yeah. And per Persian will just beat Snorlax. Uh, do we protect to get our berry? But don't protect to make the hail go get Lele, get rid of Lele, or is that bad? Well, uh, I, th mm -hmm. I think I think we should protect Snorlax for sure. Or should we just high horsepower? Actually, thinking about it, into Marowak, and then just attack with Torkoal into Lele, and let's try a one v one with Mimikyu. I think I think we have to switch to Torkoal here, um, and yeah, maybe maybe just high horsepower into the Marowak. I mean, at this at this point, I really think we, we can't win the game. We'll see. Depends on what plays happen. He definitely. Sh I think he's gonna moonblast Torkoal though. Yeah, I mean, it's just because he has got the Persian in the back, and that just, just wins for him. Yeah. But maybe with enough hail turns, all right, he just moonblasts. All right, so at least he activates our berry, which is cool. Yeah, maybe, maybe if he flare blitzes into the Snorlax as well, the recoil and high horse might knock it out. All right, he did. He definitely flare blitz. Let's see. Live? Nice. So high horse power okay. definitely that'll definitely knock him out. It does, but we we can't beat the Persian in the back. And uh oh, Ooh, maybe it doesn't. It does not knock him out at all. <laughs> he has got some very bulky Pokemon. Like I'm really surprised I know we were at minus one with that eruption, but I'm surprised how little it did on his on his Lele there. Are you sure we can't beat the Persian in the back as long as we have two Pokemon? We don't have two Pokemon no matter what. And we need Hale to knock him out this turn too. I, I think, mean, is Hale finishing this turn, or...? Uh, this would be the... This is the second oh, turn. No. The second to last turn. I'm gonna attempt to trick him up. Alright. <laughs> Cause Hale... Hale will knock out Lele this turn. I don't think I have another play, cause uh, Mimikyu's slower than Marowak anyway. Unless he is minimum speed Marowak as well. No, Hale, Hale hit me first. Uh, Hale, Hale hit me last. Okay. So, I'm gonna protect with Snorlax. Or should I just attack with it? You might as well attack. You're going down to hail anyway. Yeah, that's true. I'm attacking to Marowak. See how this works. Okay. And just to shut it, Bonal finishes off, yeah. Will it always kill me? Don't kill. <laughs> Don't kill. <laughs> I mean, he was a very bulky one, but I'm pretty sure it was. Ah. Yeah. If it actually. <laughs> if, yeah, even if it didn't kill. Um, even if it did kill, I think we still lost anyway. Um, well, Mimikyu would be able to outspeed, and we could protect with Torkoal, and we could outspeed Marowak and Shadow Claw into it, so that would knock it out. And uh, he, I, close I, on the Marowak. Yeah, we still lose. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, we, we've definitely lost this game. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. I'm having fun, though. I'm having fun. <laughs> well, at least one of us is. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, guys, he's a good VGC player. Go ahead and check him out. <laughs> yeah, might as well just run from this. Yeah. Don't have to waste the turn of <laughs> animation. Alright, so good game to our opponent. Uh, what is that, 0 and 2 in this episode? Yep. <laughs> yep. Let's just gloss over that and. Uh... <laughs> and we'll win in the next episode. Will Lorantis? Yeah, well, we'll try to. We haven't done a Solar Blade yet, so yeah. whatever happens, we are going we to. We are using Solar Blade no matter what. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Such a great animation, so I'm 100% going for it. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and check out Baz. His channel link will be down below. And we'll see you with the next episode, which will be the last episode of this team. Hopefully, we can get two wins. That'd be great. Get some points yeah. back. Uh, you have yeah. anything else to say, bro? <laughs> Things do tend to go a bit better on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, the, the, we've, you know, in the first game, I think we made good calls, but it just didn't work out for yeah. us. Choice band caught us off guard as well. Um, in that second game, um, I, I, well, you know, we lost, so... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but it's yeah. just the taunt on version. You don't always see taunt. It's normally. Quash. I mean, I'm not too sure, actually. I mean, yeah, quash and parting shot are very common, but um, I don't know. You know, some sometimes they have taunt, and like I said, with this team, if the turn one goes badly, then it just crumbles, and that is one of the downsides of running yeah. hard tricky teams yeah. like this. Yeah. yeah, not being able to get it up, but. It's alright, we live and learn, right? Go and check him out. His channel link will be down below. I still think in best of three, we would have won the first game. Like, I think oh, yeah. we have potential. Also, knowing it was Scarf Lele helps a lot. Like, like if we would have led like, Metagross plus Mimikyu, it actually would have been not bad at all. I feel. Because Persian would be forced to foul play, right? But we could get up triple. That's right, yeah. Yeah, it would have been a, a scenario where either he taunted and exploded and probably everything went down, or... Um, well, we got Trick Room and lost. Yeah, Metagross, so, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But live and learn. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed. And we'll see you with the next episode. Goodbye, friends.